Hey y'all, today we're gonna be making some Crock-Pot Angel Chicken. Now, I found this recipe the other day and I thought it looked so good that I really wanted to try it and I wanted to share it with y'all so y'all can try it too. So, we're gonna start out by cutting up. I had a little, like just a little small yellow onion. Now, the original recipe, which I'll link down below, it did not call for onion. But, y'all know I love me some onion, so I thought, I mean, it can't hurt, right? So I went ahead and I just diced it up pretty small and then you're just going to set that over to the side. We'll need that in a minute. So then we're going to go ahead and y'all know I washed my chicken and we're going to get it trimmed up because I can't put all that in my crock pot. And y'all know I found me a big old hunk of bone on one of these pieces of chicken. So y'all know I'm going to trim it up. But like I always say is you do what you want to do in your kitchen. If you want to put that in there, then you just do that. And you can have bone and all if that's, if that's the way you like your chicken. You know, do how you want to do. So, but I don't. I went ahead, got my chicken all good and trimmed up. And now if you have more chicken than this, you can definitely use like another piece if you have it. But this is all I had in the little bag I had in the freezer. So that's what I used. Now, the next thing, this recipe called for a packet of Italian dressing seasoning mix. I could not find any at the store. So, I decided to make my own. Well, I looked up a whole bunch of recipes, and I didn't have the stuff for any of them. Like, all the complete ingredient list. So, I just kind of did it myself. So, y'all know how we do it around here. We aren't living on a wing and a prayer. So, what I did was I did two tablespoons of oregano a tablespoon of garlic salt, one tablespoon of sugar, and don't panic, it is not gonna be sweet, so don't worry about that. Then I took a tablespoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of black pepper, and I didn't add any salt because we did the garlic salt. And then I did a tablespoon of parsley. And then I'm gonna sprinkle in just a little bit of Italian seasoning, you know, just a regular old Italian seasoning, because, you know, why not? It's Italian dressing seasoning mix, right? But I didn't use much, maybe quarter, half a teaspoon, something like that. Then you're just going to go ahead and mix that up real good. And you're not going to use all of this. So you'll have some left for another recipe. And the next thing you're going to need to do is go ahead and take a half a block of cream cheese. And this does not have to be room temperature, does not have to be soft. This is straight out of the refrigerator. But because we're going to melt it in the microwave, I didn't want to just put it in there in one big hunk. So I went ahead and cut it into a few smaller pieces and that way it would melt a little bit quicker and maybe a little bit more even without, you know, blown up pieces and then big hunks. And then you're also going to take a half a stick of butter and I did the same thing. I just cut it into a few pieces and put it right over in there. Now, this is the cup, this measuring cup is what I'm going to mix everything up in. So, make sure that you use like a medium-sized bowl or, you know, a big measuring cup like this. And I don't know what size that is. Four cups, five, twelve, twenty-three. I don't know. Don't, make, don't let me lie to y'all because I don't know. But, that way you don't have to dirty up so many dishes. So once your stuff comes out of the microwave, and I just did mine kind of in 30 second increments, you know, until you get it, well, through 30 seconds and then, you know, just kind of play it by ear, y'all. But then you're just going to mix it up because you don't want it just completely melted. You just want it soft enough that you can mix it up into a, you know, like a creamy little paste. And I slung butter everywhere, but y'all see, I do clean my messes up. So this is what you should look like when you get it all mixed up. Then we're going to take... A can of cream of chicken soup and y'all y'all know I usually use great value but I didn't have any and I happened to be at the Target and I grabbed some of this chicken broth and y'all do y'all see how watery that chicken broth is I mean not chicken broth Lord cream of chicken soup it looked like chicken broth but anyway it was like real runny so I was kind of worried about it but we ate it and we didn't die so I guess it was all right so you're gonna put your cream of chicken soup in there. Then you're gonna put some chicken broth in your soup can. Mix it up and get all the, you know, the, uh, whatever soup stuck to your can, get that all good and mixed up and out of there. Dump that right over into your little cup. Then you're just gonna mix that up really good just to make sure everything's good and incorporated. Then we're gonna go ahead and add in some of our seasoning mix. Now, if you bought a packet, add your packet in. If you made this, you know, my original recipe, my original recipe here, y'all, look, I'm going to be famous. 
but anyway, I just added three tablespoons. And like I said, there was plenty left over, so I just put it in a little Ziploc bag and put it right up in my little spice cabinet. Now I'll have it if I need it, you know, well, when I make this again, because I will be making it again. So then you're going to go ahead and just dump your onion over in there. And like I said before, this is completely optional. If you don't like onion or you don't want to use onion in it, you absolutely do not have to. And then I went ahead and put in a tablespoon of garlic, minced garlic. Now, or if you have the fresh, go ahead and use whatever the equivalent is. Because I never use fresh, so I have no idea what the, you know, what the ratio, what the, what the amount should be. But Google can tell you. So then you're going to go ahead and spray your crock pot with a little cooking spray. <clears throat> and then you're going to go ahead and just add your chicken. You see, I had enough room for another piece of chicken, but it turned out fine. It was all right. So then I just went ahead and added just a little bit of salt and pepper right over the top of my chicken. And y'all, look, you're going to need angel hair pasta for this. So when your chicken is close to being done, go ahead and cook your pasta. And that way, when you're ready for your chicken, you know, do, to do what you need to do with your chicken, your pasta is already going to be ready for you. So we're going to go ahead and just dump our cream mixture right over the top of our chicken. Make sure you get all that good stuff out of there. And then we're going to put the lid on this. We're going to cook it on high for three to four hours, or you can cook it on low for six to eight. Whatever kind of time you have, that's what you do. Once your chicken is ready, once it's done, after your little time is up, you're going to go in there and you're going to take two little forks and just shred your chicken up. Now, if you want to try to leave it in big chunks, you can, but when you mix it, it's all going to break up anyway, y'all. So just go ahead and shred it up real good. And then your pasta, you know, should be ready. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to dump your pasta right into this. Now, I feel like, which y'all know I just, it's just me here, just me and the cat. And he probably would have ate this, but I didn't give him the option. But I was giving some of this to a friend of mine and then I put some in the freezer too. So just, I might use a little less pasta next time, especially if it, it's a batch that I'm just cooking for myself. I'd probably use the same amount of chicken because y'all, that chicken was good. But I might maybe use half a, pa you know, half a box of pasta. But, you know, do what you want to do. This turned out fabulous. I'm just telling you, it was fabulous, y'all. Go ahead and mix that up. Make sure you get that pasta good and coated. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. And y'all don't talk about my Parmesan because I thought I had some shredded Parmesan and I didn't. So while my chicken was cooking, I ran to the Dollar General. They didn't have any either. This is all they had, so that's what I went with. But it turned out good, so I ain't mad at it. So you're just going, once you get your cheese in there, you're just going to mix it up. Now, y'all, this is not a super cheesy dish. So don't be thinking it's going to be like all really stringy cheesy. It's, it's not like that. But it's very, very good. And it is creamy. It's just not like stringy cheesy, okay? So this is what she looks like when I plated her up, y'all. And y'all know I added me just a little bit of parsley on top so I could make it look fancy, you know. So it would be restaurant quality. So it'd be a pretty picture for y'all. But I'm, seriously though, y'all, this stuff is so dang good. It is really, really delicious. You have got to give this a try. Make sure you try this and then let me know how you like it. But I'm going to go ahead, pop y'all another video right over here to watch. And I will see y'all on the next one. Bye y'all.